I want to do is get uh, Isaiah 2016. What I want to do is get Isaiah 2016, and we're going to read that and we're going to go into a different thing. Isaiah, right? 26 and 10. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 26, verse 10. Right. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not lean. Learns like learn righteousness. That favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not not learn righteousness. Go ahead. And the land of upright upright uprightness will he deal unjustly, and will not behold the the majesty the majesty of Yahweh by some Yahweh shot. All right. So what I want to do is go to the different translations and see what that goes to first. I want to look up the word, let's take our time. I want to look up, go to the blue letter, right? And look up the word uh, favor. Because it's going to go into uh, mercy. I want to say. Strong's H twenty six zero three. Go ahead. Hanan, and it says uh, to direct favor to have mercy on. What? Have mercy on. So we got the meaning of the word favor. Have mercy on, right? All right. So, what I want to do is look up the word majesty too. Look up the word majesty too in that particular scripture. looking up the word majesty in uh, Isaiah 26 and uh, 10. Us a great people and 
uh, and uphold the majesty of the Lord is the statue of the commandments in our inner part. You see? It says to lift, <clears throat> to lift oneself up, to increase, uh, to be exalted, manifest of the most high, to honor. To honor. See? And how do you honor the most high? By his word. By doing what he say, do according to the scripture. Esau ain't gonna do that, man. Honor, man. That's what you want up out of there. That's key, man. Honor, right there. See? That's what you want. Okay? So what I want to do is go to the different translations now. So we got to understand the word majesty goes into honor, right? Honor the most high word. Okay? And we got the word favor, which goes into mercy. Right? Alright, so we want to go to the different translations. And Isaiah 26 and 10. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 10 mm -hmm. this is the new international version it says but when grace is shown to the wicked they do not learn righteousness right even in the land of the uprightness they go on doing evil and do not regard the majesty of the Lord see the so-called white man ain't gonna do that see he ain't gonna do that according to the scripture he gonna go off how he feel and his opinion he ain't going to go off what the scriptures say. And then he's going to say the Bible not real at the same time. Okay? That's what he's going to say. And it's a fairy tale book. He ain't going to go off and uphold the words of the heavenly father and his son, man. So, continue on. If you got a question, I'm going I'm to answer that. Time. Finish this. Go ahead, bro. This is the New Living Translation. It says, your kindness to the, wick, to the wicked does not make them do good. Mercy. See? Go ahead. Although others do right, the wicked keep doing wrong and take no notice of the Lord's majesty. See? They don't honor it, which is the word, right? See? Them the different translations pursuing the Isaiah 26 and 10. That's what we're reading from. Go ahead, bro. This is the Amplified Bible, and uh, we're still in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 10. Go ahead. It says, though the wicked is shown compassion and favor, he d does not learn righteousness in the land of the uprightness. He deals unjustly and refuses refuses to see the majesty of the Lord. The honor of the Lord, man. Which is his word, which is written in the Bible, man. See? You now, word. you got a question? No. Faith okay. comes with the word. Huh? Faith comes with the word. Who gives you faith? As is everything God did. The, the Holy Ghost gives us faith from uh, when we're born. Because a child, you know, suffers the All you got to say is faith comes from the Heavenly Father. Yeah. Okay? So, you believe in the Bible? Yes. Wholeheartedly? Yes. Now watch, now watch this. Now, I just asked you, do you believe in the Bible wholeheartedly? Right? Yes. Okay. So you read the Bible? Many times. Okay, good. Watch this right here. What color is the is the Savior according to the Bible? He is burnished bronze. So in <laughs> other words, in other words, what color would he be if he's walking on this earth? Yes. What color would he be? He would be considered an African. He would be considered a so-called African. Right? Yes. Well, good. So we know based off that the Africans are what? So-called black. Right? Yes. So you believe that the Savior as a black man is coming to save you. I have no problem with that at all. Okay, Honestly, good. Honestly, I don't know him. Good. In the fact of how he is going to appear to me physically. But that's what the Bible says he looks like. So, and so when you say you don't know how he's going to appear well, physically, because what, the what Bible Reve says. Revelation says, how now, he's going to now, come back. He's now, in the book different. of Revelation, when John seen him on the island of Patmos, 
That was the Lord coming back in his glory. That's why he was bowing. Yeah. Okay? Because he was looking at his feet. So when the Lord come back, he coming in his glory, and he's coming back as a so-called black man. Which, the truth behind that, you say Africa, where the Lord is not no Africa. He's of the nation of Israel, yeah. and, he's, uh, and he's of the tribe of Judah. Yeah. Now, the real Jews are the so-called, are the so-called African Americans. Mm -hmm. Those are the real Jews today, okay? Mm -hmm. According to the Bible, not the people in that land. You got something wrong? Not yeah. the people in that land. Now, give me uh, Revelation 13, 9 and 10. Now, we're going to the New Testament in the book of Revelation. 1390. What's your nationality? I'm uh, born in the United States, but my background, my your mom's father, half your father, Italian. Your father. My dad is a uh, first generation American. He was German. Mm -hmm. His father was born in Germany. All right. Now, do you know so called Negro who Germany? They intermingle over there. You know so called Negro who Germany? You mean now? No. Years Be ago. Before, yeah. That's before, I did before, not know. before so-called white people came into power over there. So-called well. Negroes ruled Germany. That's why when the when the, when the men are in the military over there in uh. Germany, the women over there, they grab hold to them so-called black men. They grab hold of them. And the reason why I'm saying that, because you could, your line could go back to a so-called Negro. Oh. Could, We're, could be, well, could. I don't know, nothing could be, would, we finna find out. Nothing would thrill me more than everybody that calls themselves a supremacist. If they were made to take a DNA test, boy, would I have fun with that. But Because that's we're so all, all no. mixed. No, 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 it's, now I give you, I, I hit you with this. You seem like you're uh, willing to sit here and pay attention to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Now, if I plant an apple seed into the ground, anywhere in the world, right? You ain't gonna grow no orange. <laughs> so if I plant an orange, if I plant an orange tree anywhere in the world, yep. what I'm gonna get? getting orange. Now, everybody has a nationality according to the Bible. When you read the book of Genesis, mm -hmm. the ninth chapter and the 18th verse, okay? You had Noah after the flood. You had Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Yep. Everybody on this earth come out of them, one of them lines, yep. okay? But the reason why I said concerning an apple tree and an orange tree, the man concerning the seed, the man carried the seed. That mixed up so-called white man came up with that to hide his identity of who he truly is, according to the Bible. Okay? Uh, that's my one of my favorite ones that has caused more controversy and debate by uh, Go ahead. biblical scholars for a thousand years now, and that is Genesis uh, in our It is 6 9. It is, and the sons of God saw the women of earth. Who are the sons of God? And the sons of God, that's the one that nobody agrees with completely. What did the scripture say? The scripture says Who the that sons the, of God are? those are angels. Which the sons of God are messengers. Yes. Right? The sons of God are messengers. But when you look into the scriptures and seeing who the sons of God are according to the scriptures, I'm gonna show you. But what I'm gonna we're gonna go back to it. But my point is give me uh give me uh wisdom of Solomon in the apocalypse, right? The seventh chapter, wisdom of Solomon in the apocalypse in the seventh chapter. We're going to read this first, but we're going to deal with Genesis the sixth chapter. We're going to deal with it. Here and that's second. the other one, Solomon. Yeah, we're going to deal with it. And we're gonna, what I'm going back to is concerning the seed. Okay? 
right? This is Solomon chapter 7, verse 1. Start there. All right, this is a wisdom of Solomon. Now, you know Solomon was a wise man. He was a wise king. And he prayed to the Heavenly Father to get that with him. Okay? Let's see what the Heavenly Father granted him concerning uh, uh, where the seed come from. Go ahead. All right, this is a wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 1. I myself also am a mortal man, like to all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. Adam, go ahead. And in my, mother, my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of 10 months, being compacted in blood mm -hmm. of the seed of man. And oh, man, he said what? Of the seed of what? Man. Of, of the man. seed of man. Of the seed of man. So going back to the uh, the allegory that I used concerning uh, if I plant an apple tree, yes. if I plant an orange tree, you're going to get the apple tree and you're going to get the orange tree. So whatever nationality that man is, that's the nationality of that child. That's why I asked you, you know what I'm saying, concerning your background, and yes. you mentioned German, and I said to you, our people, meaning the so-called Negroes, Haitian and Jamaican, we ruled Germany once upon a time. Matter of fact, I don't know if I, oh boy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I brought it. Oh boy, oh boy, I might have brought it. I might have brought it, I might have brought it. We ruled Germany. Ah, uh, I didn't bring it. I didn't bring it, I didn't bring it, I didn't bring it. But we ruled Germany once upon a time. They got a book, you got, you got a, a book called The Nature No, Nature no, no Color Line by J.A. Rogers. If you Google that book, it'll give you uh, pictures and records on how we rule uh, uh, Europe, okay? And you got a book by uh, Ancient and Modern Britain by David McRitchie and it goes into the history of how we rule Europe, okay? So those are accounts of our history, meaning the Haitian, Jamaicans, and uh, uh, so-called African-Americans, how we rule Europe before so-called white men came back into power, okay? I'm Greg, and your name, brother. Oh, I will, okay, I just do you like that. But, finish that off. It says, uh, in the pleasure that came with sleep, Okay, the pleasure that came with sleep, sex. Okay? Verse 3. And when I was born, I, I grew in the common air mm -hmm. and fell upon the earth, mm -hmm. which is like nature. Which is like nature. Everybody go through that course. Okay? When they come upon the earth. Go ahead. And the first voice which I uttered was crying, and as all others do. So the key is, is us reading that scripture is, He's of the seed of man. And that's why I went back to Genesis 9 and around 18 and 19 verse concerning uh, Noah and his son, Sam, Ham, and Jack. Now, let's go to uh, Genesis, the sixth chapter, and let's deal with that. Genesis, the sixth chapter, concerning the sons of, sons of God, right? Yes, and then we're the great kings of renown and all that, and we, gonna deal we with don't this. know how long that is or anything. We're going to deal with this. We're going to deal with this. All right? Good job. Yeah. There. All right, this is, uh, this is Genesis chapter 6, verse 1. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. That the sons of the Most High saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Read it again for me. See, this is Hold Genesis down. chapter six, verse one. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. When well, men began to multiply, now this is before what the flood, right? Okay, go ahead. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them took them wives of all which they chose. Right, go ahead. So, and the Lord after said, the fall, my spirit. No, this is this, there this, war in heaven. 
listen, 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 listen. You ask me, is this after the fall? What's gonna take place? It's gonna cause the fall. Okay? What's gonna take place? Let this go by. Yes. yes. This is uh, back in Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with men, mm -hmm. for that he also is flesh. Mm -hmm. Yet his days shall be an hundred 